In this, the first part of a two-part series, I will show a time-lapse of the My Vodka Maker Open Flame test. But some of you may like to see it at normal speed, so I'll make a part two, so check that when it comes out. Needless to say, bringing an open flame anywhere near the spout of a running still is clearly the start of a bad day. So please do not try to do an open flame test at home, especially not on any other kind of still. To make matters worse, I'm going to do this test on this dry, cracked and weathered piece of plywood. I am using a 1 litre jar for the waste and a large jar for the wash. Placed here on the table so you can see the progress. But normally I would use a 200 litre barrel or 25 litre bucket of wash standing on the floor. For collection, I'm using clear coffee cups that should be heat resistant. Left is the hearts and the right is the heads. From the start of the run, the heads were coming out a bit fast, so I just turned it down a bit. So now we've collected enough to check the ABV. And we can read 89% ABV at room temperature. Temperature corrected, that would be around 87% ABV. Now for the taste. 90% neat is really dangerous to drink, so always cut it with about half water for storage or shots. I prefer mine mixed with some cola, straight out the spout. Now for the first flame test, direct onto the surface. While measuring and drinking, I've let it spill and soak into the tinder-like plywood. So let us be even more reckless. We put a lighter to the spout. And she lights right up and drips flaming distillate into the puddle. But as you can see, it's quite hard to keep the spout alight because so little comes out, but the flame on the plywood is going strong since the vodka soaked into the plywood. I will try several times to relight the spout, but it keeps going out after a short while. I had to time lapse the rest of this as it takes quite a while, but eventually the rate of burning exceeds the rate of production and the flame dies. While we watch the run time lapse proceeding, let me explain that intrinsic safety is not about people doing the right thing. It is about the difference in outcome if they do the wrong thing. Like the difference in knocking over a still, letting a collection jar overflow, or operating near open flame. Because of my vodka maker's small boiler and slow speed, in all those situations, the risk is reduced. And the outcome with my vodka maker would be significantly better than with any other still. Now the question is, how close was the plywood to catching fire? Hardly even warm to the touch. Clearly if this was a normal batch still, and this type of accident happened, the speed at which ethanol comes out of the spout would cause a much worse outcome than with my vodka making. Being a continuous still, my vodka maker can run safe and slow, and still produce plenty of effortless vodka.